wanna be great Or you want to join the crooks You decide, you decide You decide, you decide You decide What's up my sugar fam? It's your favorite Dada Boy here How you guys doing? Today we are going to rewind and definitely relieve our favorite moments from Africa's hottest show, that is MTV Sugar Nine Chat. Coming up, we give you all the behind the scenes action. We go up close and personal with the cast members. Plus, we get to hear from our music superstars who get guest appearances on the show. But first, let's get to see the best beats of MTV Sugar Nine Jar season four. Let's go. You are bad. Yes. Is there a possibility that I may walk? Who are you and what do you really want? Consider me your guardian angel. How could you have been so foolish? Mom, how do you know if a boy likes you? Has a Bicinda even kissed you yet? Toby, you and I just met two weeks ago. It's just a gift. Aburo. Dayemo Aure. Sunan Tazara. I'm not accepting her as my wife. Did you tell your parents that? She definitely faked it. I need you to give me public support so that this thing will disappear fast. We need to be able to stand up for what is right. Maybe we could hook up sometime. It's not in my character to keep a beautiful lady waiting. Did your boyfriend use a condom? Well, see, we need to talk. You didn't use the condom. I'm pregnant? Would you be my date to the grad party? Yes. Let me introduce you my business partners, Fatumbra and Khalil, my boy. Princess, what is it? Evidence. I'm afraid the damage to her eyes is permanent. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nobody else would have. Diana. It's been a great season and that's why we filmed some real sugar fans and their reaction when they watched the show for the very first time. Let's meet Omo and Deborah, Victor and Kende, and Prince and Precious. First, Diana's up to her tricks. Is this true that you have boyfriends? Uh, no, 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 that is all lies. Mm -hmm. This guy is good. Can you just go, uh -uh. As in she just switched. This girl lies. Ah, she's a bee. No, she's a bee. Ah ah. What's you now? You snitch us. This snitch. The guy is a, a smelly guy on, on all levels. As this guy it reminded me of when I was in secondary school. <laughs> there was a guy that was exactly like this. He planned it for him to snitch on them after they all planned it together. Now, Tom is in for a big shock. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, what's good? Um, actually, yeah, I'm having drinks with a, with a few of them. You know the girl? Haburo. This is... Wow. So that's... Wait, so she's wow. the one that is organizing? Yeah, he starts a pimp. Wow. It's a real-life shock. Who's at the door? <laughs> It's Ebi Cindy. Well, Alvin Abayomi is in the house. Hi. Hi. Please come in, come in, come in. Hey, beautiful. Wait, that's the angel like man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Mm -hmm. Wait, this is not Toby's girlfriend. Yes, no. <laughs> I want to find out who Angel is. Exactly. Yeah. Like, why is he sending far money? Yeah, well, you go find out. You go find out. Okay. The next well, we'll find out yeah. next episode. Out. It's time for us to go behind the scenes to catch some exclusives from the Sugar Ninja set. This season, we wanted to go with mirroring the lives of youths. 
most of the stories of the lead characters this season puts them at those crossroads where they make those important decisions in life. Safe sex, family planning, female empowerment, teenage pregnancy, attitudes towards victims of gender-based violence. And this also follows into the directing style. There's more handheld storytelling to bring the audience into the action. Let's put them in the shoes of the characters. We're about to shoot the restaurant scene with Angel. RMD is here. Richard Moffat Damijo is here. I am excited. I'm always excited about anything that I want to do. It's uh, my own way of also lending my voice to, you know, changing society to the betterment of mankind. Coming into the sugar family, this is, this is important for me as well. It's a really full house today. We have a lot of extras. We have the makeup team. We have the hair team. It is not in my character to keep a beautiful lady waiting. One of the reasons I actually took up this job is because of the message behind what MTV Sugar Ninja is. Even if you're being creative, there should be a message behind every single thing that we do, and that's the power of MTV Sugar Ninja. In costuming Sugar Nigeria season four, the costumes had to be as realistic as possible. We don't do trends, so we just go with what will they, in reality, be like, what will they wear? Very physical, uh, but you know, it comes with the territory, so I, I enjoy it, especially when I have a, a chance to spar with the young blood. <laughs> help! Somebody help! So, we're done for today. It was fun, it was intense, and it was another day filming Sugar, putting it all together. Hopefully, you guys enjoy when the magic comes out. Timini signing out. Diana, the school bully, didn't seem so tough at the end of the season, right? Pregnant, lonely and nowhere to turn to. Unplanned pregnancies can be avoided. And for young ladies expecting babies, help is at hand. Helena Nelson visited the Hello Lagos Center. That is the center in the show that advises young people on contraceptives and pregnancy in real life. At the end of the last MTV Sugar Niger season, my character Diana was in a really difficult situation. Pregnant, feeling alone, and with apparently nowhere to turn. This is something that happens to many young women in real life. I'm going to take you to Hello Lagos, a safe, confidential, and accessible place for young women. Am I right? Yes. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm fine, thank okay. you. Welcome to Hello Lagos. Well, at the Hello Lagos Center, we attend to young people aged from 10 to 24 years. They can access health services, they can also accept mental health services, sexual and reproductive health services. When you have young people that are pregnant, they hide it, yes. they don't access they health services, help. they go to the wrong places. To show how the Hello Lagos has supported and helped and completely transformed the lives of young people, we are going to meet Priscilla, a girl who was found in the same position my character Diana was found. How are you? Fine. Priscilla, I'm waiting to make you come Hello Lagos. That time I'll be say Gebele. My mom, she did not give me any clue by advising me, telling me the way to go. But when I come Hello Lagos, she talked to me, she advised me, she told me things, things that I don't even know. If to say you not come Hello Lagos, you still say you go still the, the place where you did now. As you mean, I don't come here. Mm. I know if you say, I will still do the same place because I will still continue to make that same mistake. The way I misbehave with my life before not be so it will be now. We have seen how important the help is that Hello Lagos offers. And to find out more about Priscilla's and other similar stories, please check out the Young Moms documentary that was shot in conjunction with MTV Sugar Niger that will be airing soon. After the break, we catch some new faces from MTV Sugar, some pretty hilarious outtakes, plus we hang out with our main music contributor, Larry Gaga. Do not go anywhere, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Coming up, we catch up with some new faces on Sugar Ninja, the guys that got their role from the public auditions. 
Then we hang out with one of our main music contributors, Larry Gaga. But first off, how about we do another round of Sugar Watch as we show you how some diehard fans reacted when they showed the series on the big screen for the first time. First, was you with some crazy ideas about contraception. <laughs> but wait, though, you need to fear Belial disease. I'm going to Guy, they pull out sharply. What are you antibiotics, Joy? Antibiotics. To do what? <laughs> <laughs> now we finally find out who plays Angel. Apologies, my lady. It's not in my character to keep a beautiful lady waiting. May I? RMD. Is RMD? There is. <laughs> Angel. There's so much more I can do for you. Uh, I said it. There must be something. It cannot just be pure joy. Like, what's the deal? What does he want? Well, what do old men like this want? Yeah, I think they do. You don't expect anybody? No, man. And another surprise it's the real life Cynthia. <laughs> Uzuamaka Anionu. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Come on. Play, play cool, bro. Play cool. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. You're welcome, sorry. You're welcome. It's really nice to meet you in person. Nice to meet you too. Wow. wow. If you need any help with explanations on the notes or classes that you've missed, I can help. I feel like wow. this was you flirting. Wow. But like in, a, in, 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 in wow. an intellectual nerdy, nerdy kind of wow. way. Yeah. Maybe we could hook up sometime. <laughs> Look we'll up sometimes. See how you shoot your shots. What is wrong with you now? I think I'm pregnant. Pregnant? I was there now, you jumped up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping method. Wasi, well, uh, the test confirms that you're HIV positive. <gasps> you can still live a healthy and productive life even after testing HIV positive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Contact everyone that you've had sex with. Oh, the guy's in denial. This, this is how you look when you're in denial. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Wow, he's just going down a dark road. This doesn't look good, man. Don't touch me, Don't touch me! What? I need it. What? Help. Oh, help. What you? Where did he go? Oh. This is how she should know that the guy she slept with is HIV positive, man. This is. I'm sorry for him. Oh, wow. I'm really small. Really small. I've cried for the guy. Oh, God. Wow, man. It's crazy, Sha. What a reaction, my people. Now, do you believe in following your dreams? Well, these guys did. Over a thousand hopefuls showed up for the MTV Sugar Ninja auditions. Now, it's time for us to meet those hopefuls that made it into the show. My name is Taiwo Ola, and I am playing the character Modupe Mo. MJ, why you not tell us now? Uh -uh. I've known about MTV Sugar since Kenya. And I found out they came to Nigeria. I was like, oh my God, this is an opportunity. I am going to attend this audition. I've attended a lot of auditions, but MTV Sugar always has a lot of crowd. The first stage went on good. And then I got to the second stage and I was like, I'm going to give it everything. It was nerve wracking, but it was good. Yeah. We would like to offer you the role of Mo on Sugar. <laughs> Congratulations. So welcome to Sugar Farm. <laughs> I don't have the right words to explain how happy I was, truly. It's MTV Sugar. Welcome to Sugar Farm, like we call yes! <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. I'm so excited. They are confirming you for the role of Mary. <laughs> This is sugar, and I'm happy. I'm 
I'm not only educating people, I am also giving them hope. MTV Sugar is going to give me the opportunity to do that. I'm really, really excited to be on this project. I can't wait for people to see my character. People are going to love her. Now, what an exciting journey so far for the new faces on Sugar. And trust me, they did an amazing job. All right, so it doesn't really go as to Put this in, everything in. All right, so things don't really go according to plan on set. So now we are going to watch the ultimate MTV Sugar blooper reel. Yeah. Okay. How about, how about Oh! No, to have some girls like, I didn't forget that. Did you change the life of, of me? Ah! If you smell, see up your beard. Sorry, director. Ah. I forgot my legs. All right, so navigating romance and sex can be a little bit tricky. And we all know that Simi had it difficult this season. Actress Sharon Jackson, who plays Simi, hooked up with a girl pal, Ruby Akubeze, who plays Frances, and the both of them went on to hang out with some real sugar fans for some girl talk. So do you like talk to your parents about sex? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mom. My mom did not have any <laughs> talk. So my dad is more liberal. Eh, eh. Not your dad, not your mom. Nope. It's very awkward whenever the conversation comes up. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let's talk about um, contraception. So like, did you, were you well informed? I did actually inform myself properly about what this contraception is and what I'm actually supposed to do. Our parents have failed to actually inform us because they think yeah. giving us this information is protecting yeah. us from making, from making mistakes. Because I feel if, if I had known a lot of things, I would have not made a lot of mistakes. Like the famous lies they tell us that when a boy touches you, <laughs> you're pregnant. <laughs> yeah. We've heard about condoms and everything. That's like the most popular protective measure. But what other protective measures do you know about? Copper just, just Jasmine, yeah. yeah. The implants that she had for like two years before she actually yeah. decided to take it off and have a child. And now about some pills you actually take. There is the withdrawal technique also. Hmm. Please, pull out, pull wait, out again. Wait, wait, oh gosh, oh gosh. Pull out does not work, please. Exactly. And please. And most of all, you need to uh, go to a trusted hospital, clinic, to know what kind of uh, contraceptive Beats works for tired. you. If you know you want to be sexually active, then yeah. be wise enough to yeah. protect, protect yourself. Protect yourself. Have you ever tested for HIV? Yes. Yes. You have? Yeah. I do not know. <laughs> you know, we need to know so that we know where we stand. Do you think people are like aware of sexual transmitted infections. They know that, okay, stuff exists, gonorrhea exists, there's yeah. HIV and all that, but they don't really know how much this would really affect Affects them. them. Yeah. It just boils down to knowledge is power. Know about it, be well informed. They always like to clarify what we have by going to the doctor the to doctor actually to get a proper yourself. check. But well, it's amazing to know that, like, you're yeah, well informed. Are... But we yeah. call it sugar. Wow. <laughs> Such a vibe. As you can see, music and MTV Sugar go hand in hand. In the past years, we've had so many superstars contribute to the soundtrack of MTV Sugar and even appeared in the show. This year, we have somebody who's a big superstar. It's time for us to meet our main music contributor, Larry Gaga. I got involved with Sugar Ninja through Universal Music Group. They were like, Larry, MTV Sugar needs you to do a soundtrack for them. On this track, I'm working with Vector and the producer under me called Mavio. I came up with the name Decide. If you listen to the lyrics of the song, 
is talking to you like we're advising you on whatever you decide to do. Just do something that you know the decision is good. I just felt like from the scratch, the hook needed to be very chilled. You can't yell somebody into accepting your own opinion. And the best way for them to be understanding about your case is if it's subtle. So, sat down there. Grant me your God to make choices so you decide. Whatever side that you decide to play with, so do you want to be a player? Or you want to down the look? I was called to feature and I'm here as a cameo. I've never done any acting before and uh, it was awesome. Play that bit again. Is this connected? Let me play something. Okay. Let me play something. Thank you. Sir. I like it a lot. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Nice from me. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That was a very nice bit. Let's do something. Call me, okay? What I did on set, I was Larry Gaga. I was myself. It was so beautiful for me, and uh, I really enjoyed it, and I want to do it again. Ah, oh. Gerald. Victor! Oh. Victor! Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm your biggest fan. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, uh, that's so cute. Now, this is sudden, but I was thinking we could have a collab with Victor. <sighs> Sugar has found a way to subtly introduce those conversations that maybe parents are not confident enough or bold enough to have with their kids, or maybe kids are not strong enough to have with their parents based on experience. None of us here could really talk to our parents about sex. With MTV Sugar, I learned a lot that I need to improve and teach my kids. I think it's a very beautiful thing for a society that is growing. You decide, you decide, you decide. All right, so that's it for this season of MTV Sugar Ninja. I hope you guys enjoyed that masterpiece as much as I did. Now, this is very serious. I'd like for you to write this down. For any questions on contraception, safe sex, and family planning, please call 55059 in Nigeria. And you can just go straight to the website. That's at mtvsugar.com. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys next season. Peace.